A man, sir, must make his mark in life. And when eventually he does shuffle off his mortal coil, he should leave something behind. Something that he may be remembered by. A legacy. So that in future, when people mention his name, they might know who he was. I've achieved much in my life. And money. <laughs> so much money that would make the ordinary man happy beyond his wildest dreams. But only in his lifetime. Me? I want to be happy in eternity. And I am not an ordinary man. And so, as part of what I consider to be my greatest engineering feat, I decided to do what many men have tried to do before and failed. To bring people together in a common task. The answer was simple. I would be ingeniously evasive. Now you might think that cunning, but to be honest, I don't care. To me, the means justified the end, and if I could bring these people together, then we could create something that could make this area great. A world beater, a beacon around the globe. And so, I set out to create one of the most inspired pieces of engineering of the age, aided and abetted by little more than a slight of hand. It was easy enough for me to get the companies. I'd recently given over £6,000 to the local turnpike, so I'd greased a few wheels. And £6,000 in the 18th century was an awful lot of money. You can't take it with you, can you? I took a huge risk on this waterways plan. I decided to divide the opposition by splitting the proposals but keeping the same route. If I could keep that ruse up long enough, then it would be too late for either to stop. Well, that's how I found it. Did I succeed? Well, let me tell you that my name is John, second Viscount Dudley and Ward. Presumably, if you've never heard of me, then I must have failed. But I did not fail. And what I created bore the Industrial Revolution on its back and helped make this great area a powerhouse in the world of manufacturing. Do you want to know more? Then you must come to Dudley and see for yourself. <laughs>